Hello, Myron. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat here. That's right. And I understand that you're a big time wrestling fan. So what do I do for my fans? I'm gonna walk you, you to my home and the Dragon's Den. Let me give you a tour. Let's come on over here to this wall. I call this my Hall of Fame wall, Myron. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I've been inducted into three different Hall of Fames. Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame, the DCW Hall of Fame, that's a small company. And of course, the WWE Hall of Fame, to which I was inducted in 2009. And here is the class of 2009. Howard Finkel, Terry Funk, Terry and Dory Funk, Coco Beware, Cowboy Bill Watts, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Kevin Von Erich. That's the class of 2009. Very proud of this wall. And real quick, let me show you my, my uh, WWE Hall of Fame ring. Now, as we move along the Dragon's Den, we come down to this corner. I call this Mid-Atlantic Memories. Now, back in the day when there were territories, the Mid-Atlantic region was like North and South Carolina and Virginia. And uh, I spent about eight years there. Got my big break there. Put me in the main event status through a big time friend of mine that uh, took me under his wing. And we'll get to him a little bit later, but just to give you a hint, he's 16 times world champion. But as you can see these pictures here, these are all regional championships that I held. This one down here, a very close friend who has since passed, Jay Youngblood and myself. Those championships are the NWA World Tag Team Champions. And uh, we held that championship five different occasions. Um, if you can get a close-up of this picture here, the capture read, read Steamboat vs. Race 1979. We wrestled in Raleigh, North Carolina. We wrestled to a one-hour draw. And the reason why that picture is so special to me is because it's the very first time I stepped into the ring with a world champion, Harley Race. What a man he was. One hour draw, wrestled to the time limit. Moving along the wall, you see some posters of myself, and those are all from the WWF days. And you'll see some plaques up there. And they are the World Tag Champion Tournament. That was held over in Tokyo, Japan. The promoter, his name was Giant Dobaba, brought teams from all over the world, England, uh, Germany, Canada, United States, Australia, teams from all over. And that young man over there, Jay Youngblood and myself, at the end of the three-week tournament, we were awarded those plaques because we were the champions. What a great honor that was. That was dated December 11th, 1980. And moving along, I want to show you a pair of my favorite wrestling boots. These red boots I wore with this gi. As you can see, there's dragons airbrushed on the side of them. Had many and many matches with these boots. My favorite pair. Now, as we come over to this corner, you'll see some cartoon-like caricatures of myself, all drawn by different artists. This one right here, done in black and white, says, Best Wishes from Phil Ortiz. If you don't recognize the name, he's one of the artists for The Simpsons. And he drew a Simpson-like caricature of Ricky Steamboat. Now, this is the guy that I gave credit to a little bit earlier on. Nature Boy Ric Flair, 16 times world champion. Yep. In the Mid-Atlantic region, which is in the Carolinas and Virginia, we wrestled each other hundreds and hundreds of times. And uh, he took me under his wing and taught me so much about the psychology of the business, about what to do in a match, how you do it, and when you do it. He was the best ever in my book. Moving along, you see some bodybuilding pictures of myself. And if I move this trophy, you'll see a picture there. There's me, and the other guy is Superfly Jimmy Snooker. And the championship that we were going for was the WBBC Southern States, and this is the trophy. I edged out Jimmy Snooker by the narrowest of margins and became the champion that evening at the bodybuilding show. 
Here's a man that I cannot uh, cannot forget to uh, give notice to. And he also left us way too early. Macho Man Randy Savage. And of course, if you follow my career and his, we had that match at WrestleMania 3 at the Silverdome in Detroit, Michigan. This is a seat back from the Silverdome. And I was able to get seat number three, representing WrestleMania 3, 93,173 wrestling fans. It was a world record attendance. I will give credit where credit is due. Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant were headlining the show, our two biggest icons in the business. And they had a major part in drawing that record crowd. But Randy and I was the match right before him. And at the end of the night, 30-some years later, the story still goes that Steamboat and Savage stole the show that night. Here are some pictures here of some very close friends. Again, there's Austin, Bobby Backlund, Lex Luger, China. Here's an action shot here, if you can see it. It's a, it's a shot of Jake the Snake Roberts giving me a clothesline. This gentleman here is Sting. Probably the most popular guy in WCW, World Championship Wrestling. I got an autographed picture here from Mickey Rourke when he made the movie The Wrestler. Here's a shot with me and Shane Douglas. We were the WCW Tag Team Champions. This gentleman over here is Roddy Piper. What a great guy, both in and out of the ring. But if we take a shot up here, that's a picture of myself and Muhammad Ali. You know, I would say that he's probably the greatest of all time. That shot was taken 1985, backstage Madison Square Garden at the very first WrestleMania. Vince McMahon brought him in to, to be the special guest referee for the main event that night at the very first WrestleMania. Here's a championship belt, and as it reads, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. That is the championship that Macho Man and I wrestled for at the Silverdome at WrestleMania III. But you know, I, I said earlier that you're a wrestling fan and I'm going to give you a tour of the Dragon's Den. But I also understand there's a special day coming up and it's your birthday. That's right. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. And a happy birthday from your mom and your three sisters. And all this was put together by a company called Cameo, who you have a very close friend. His name is Sky Carson. He's the one that put this package together. He's got to be a real good buddy of yours. And I also understand people have said that your dad looks like Ricky Steamboat. Well, he must be a very handsome man. So, on behalf of all your friends, your mom and your sisters and Sky, Ricky Steamboat, the Dragon's Den, happy birthday.